Hello, welcome to Bob's Dungeon. My name is Bob, I'll be your host. Now as you can see, I'm out of the dungeon again. And we're kind of going to look at another creepy place again. And the play, creepy place we're going to look at is we're going to look at the playhouse that's in my yard again. Now, I know I've done this a couple of times before, but I found out that the ghost tube, that or the apps that I've been using, that released a new app, and I'm going to try it out here. And we're going to see what it's like. Of course, we'll do it during the day here, and we'll do it again at night. And this new app, what it what it does is instead of having some pre-programmed words that it comes up with, it supposedly uses electric magnetic readings from your phone and come up with its own words. It's just kind of weird. So we're going to try it out and see what it does and try it again at night again. So let's take a look at the area we're going to look at. We're here at the far side of my yard, and there's the playhouse. And as you can see, it is really secluded back here. Not much at all. So, anyway, this is the playhouse. And I've told the story about this before, but in case you haven't watched those videos, I'll tell it again real quick. This this place just ex just gives off a real creepy vibe, and when we first moved out here, there were these plywood s cutouts of like little children that were set up near the pond. We took them down for whatever reason. We threw them up there in the playhouse, and a few days later, when we came back out here, the little girl stand up was set up so that she was looking out the window there and that's kind of weird so we knocked her down set her back down on the floor a few days later when we came back out she set up looking out the window again set her back on the floor same thing happened a third time so this time we broke her in half and put her on the floor again and somehow when we came back out here the two pieces were set up on top of each other so that she's looking out the window again so we bagged them up and we threw them away had no more problems so that's kind of the story and I've been out here a couple of times to look at the place the last time I was out here and I used the other ghost tube apps did some creepy things so we're gonna use this new app but first we're gonna come up here and take a look inside Okay, and this is the inside of the playhouse. It's been a while since I've been looking here. And I have no idea how this got here. It's the little girl. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to ask a few questions. But get down now and this is the ghost tube Vox app and like I said it supposedly picks up electric magnetic readings and puts them into words so it doesn't use pre-recorded stuff here's the playhouse so let's see exactly what we can do with this app is there anybody here that wishes to speak with me yes sir. Could you repeat that? You can tell me anything you want. I'll listen to you. Maybe I come over closer to the playhouse. Can you hear me? Do you have anything to say? Okay, so I guess we'll go up and take a look in the playhouse and see what we can come up with. And here we are in the playhouse. I don't go in because I'm afraid that it's too old and I'm too big and I might fall through. But is anybody here that wishes to speak with me? 
You can tell me anything you want. First thing I want to know, has that cutout always been here? Did I somehow mistakenly remember what happened to it? Come on, you can answer me. Got nothing to say? Okay then. Well, the daylight trial didn't go very well. Didn't really do much. Didn't really expect it to. But what got me is the cardboard cutouts in there. I remember it not being in there and I remember it getting broken and thrown out. Maybe I'm remembering wrong because it was some years ago. But why am I just noticing it now if it was in there last time? Don't know. Uh, probably just remembering things wrong. Who knows? But yeah, it's kind of weird. So let's wait for dark and let's wait for dark and we'll try this again. Okay. And as you can see, we're back out here in the dark and it is, of course, really dark back here. And here's the playhouse at night. And you can't see a lot, but it's pretty creepy, really quiet, very secluded. So we'll go up here real quick and take a look inside the little playhouse and then we'll get into using the apps this is the inside the little playhouse at night of course we've looked at it at night in the other videos and it's very weird that that's here because I thought it was broken and thrown away a long time ago that creeps me out even more <laughs> So we'll get back down out of here and try out the new app here at dark. And this is the ghost tube Vox. Like I've said earlier, detects electric magnetic readings and changes it into words. So here we go. Let's get started. Is there anybody here that wishes to speak with me? Do you have anything at all to say to me? I will listen to you. Just tell me whatever you want. Nothing? Well, I'm going to look in the playhouse now. You can say something to me there then. And here we are in the playhouse with the ghost tube box. Is there anything here you wish to say to me? Anything at all? You can tell me anything and everything you wish. How do you feel about the little girl being in here? I thought she was gone. Was she here the whole time? Nothing? You got nothing. Okay then. And just to be thorough, we'll use the regular ghost tube app. See if it can pick up anything. Pamela. What about Pamela? Is Pamela the name of the little girl? Do you have anything else to say to me? Anything at all? I'm going. You're going? Where are you going? Anywhere particular? Are you in the treehouse? 
You can talk to me, you know. Well, I'm going to go into the playhouse there, and I'm going to use this app again. And here is the regular Ghost Tube app to see if we can get a reading. There's the little girl thing. So, do you have anything to say to me here? Anything at all? I'm Nothing? Still nothing. Tom. No Tom here. You want to tell me who Tom is? Are you just randomly generating words? Okay then. Thank you for your time. So that was me trying to get the Ghost Tube Vox video to work. And like I said, it's a newer app. I just learned about it recently. So I figured I'd give it a try, see how it works. And I was a little disappointed with it. I couldn't get it to do much. It could have just been the location I'm in. But I'll try it again somewhere else at some point. We'll see if I can get it to work. And I thought that that cutout of the little girl in the plywood... I thought we broke that and threw it out. I don't know what it's doing there in the playhouse now. Because I could have sworn it was gone. I don't remember seeing it last few videos I made of the playhouse. Maybe it was there the whole time. I just didn't notice. I don't know. It was a long time ago. So maybe I'm just experiencing my own personal Mandela effect. Who knows? But anyway, thank you for joining me. I had a look at something creepy, and sorry it wasn't that big or extravagant, but hopefully you'll join me next time where we'll talk about something else. Bye!